All right, welcome back to more of Zelda 2 Deluxe. Okay, we cleaned up a couple levels in the last part. And now we can just kind of proceed in order. Level 7 is again in the lower left corner. So if you're walking straight from level 6, yeah, it's a bit of a walk because it's on the opposite end of the of the whole map basically. Now we can actually go through this place in, uh, in full. I kinda just made a quick trip in here at first just to get the, the iron glove. Actually the boss key as well. Then I'm a lot better equipped for this place. Maybe just items. Oh, it's always good when you get a clock early. Makes cleaning up that room a lot easier. Combo to use the fire brooming and then the hammer, you know, guarantee you get an easy hit there. Splitters in this room. <clears throat> yeah, again, fire boom is really handy and keep those bubbles at bay. Alright, 
level three land molas in this room. Next one can get a little bit messy, gonna <clears throat> mix of level two through four dark nuts. Yeah, and a hammer has become becomes quite valuable. Just being able to break shields is already a bonus. Uh, combine that with a whimsical ring, you get easy one to KO sometimes. the same this level is pretty much the same as the original just a little bit more difficult than before Also make sure to bring a little bit of extra cash, you know, just like the original second quest. Although by this point, you know, you should have plenty of cash to work with. for later. A trio of main handlers in this room. We got rid of one and almost got rid of a second one actually. I don't think I need more potions here. Again, you notice this room, the statues aren't firing at you. Yeah, 
might as well wait, pick up your red candle. Uh, of note, there is no four-way ladder uh, in this remade second quest deluxe because the original did have a four-way ladder. Because I think this is where you actually got your four-way ladder. Uh, but you don't have that anymore. So you just have a regular ladder to work with. This room down here actually isn't useless anymore. Cause I don't even remember what was in the original version. I don't think there was anything in this room in the first place. easier again when you break up all their shields. One you can actually just stun them head up with a boomerang. And then you just attack them straight up as well. So I actually throw the magic jar into that room. Again, there used to be nothing in there, I believe. Or maybe, like, money or something. Something useless. Almost try to wonder why there's even that room there in the first place. Just kind of backtracking into the center of the place again. At least this this time there's more incentives to go into those dead ends. You know, get that magic jar. Spawn. Make things a little bit easier. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm getting a lot of money. Not that I really need any right now. I could use a few hearts. Easy when you only leave one enemy behind. <clears throat> Easier to make the get through the room when you really need to. So, I mean, unless there were bubbles in that room, then I wouldn't, really wouldn't care about that. And just you know, the bubbles are gonna stop and respawn. Death knights in this room. Stuck there. Yeah, I'm gonna go get some refills first. These are trebles, I can use this to my advantage. Land Mola 5. And good thing you're entering kind of horizontal, so you can kind of do the same trick with the Moldorms. So if you can get yourself positioned just correctly, uh, you should be safe. You just kind of whittle away. Kind of hard to chase this thing around. Honestly, I can try using my cane of burn off. Even though it drains magic like crazy, but uh, if it if the main part of it hits the land mola, it's gonna start breaking off pieces right off the bat. He's almost dead already. Might as well put the cane of burn to some use. Only reason it's hard to use is because it drains your magic. Like, you know, you saw how fast it went down, and this is even double magic. Okay, so that's level 
seven down. And I'm gonna save level eight for the next part. Uh, uh, yeah, next part. Although I don't think I have much of that level left, actually. I think we've done a fair amount of it. Make sure you have an extra enemy bait on hand because I think you actually do need it. Okay, so took out level seven in this part, and next up we will finish off level eight. All right, see you guys later.